Let me recognize the gentleman from Kansas, Mr. Estes, for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Madam Speaker, today I rise to honor the life and legacy of our colleague, John Lewis. In my short time in Congress, I've had the privilege of working with John as members of the Ways and Means Committee. And in that time, I can tell you John's a true statesman. Here in Washington, and even inside this chamber, we see some individuals with personal agendas who are only interested in transactional relationships. However, John was a compassionate soul dedicated to the cause of equality and justice. Because of John's experiences of discrimination and hate, he brought to this body a thoughtful and passionate approach to ensuring that all Americans can experience the blessings of liberty that are guaranteed in our Constitution. He understood the pain of a divided nation, the progress we've made over the past century, and the challenges we still face. Through it all, he met anger and violence with peace and love, a demonstration of his character that I think all of us can learn from. I used to live in Nashville, Tennessee, and one of John's earliest acts was seeking peaceful change in organizing sit-ins at Nashville lunch counters. This is reminiscent to me of a courageous group of young people in my hometown, Wichita, who also sought equal treatment at a popular downtown lunch counter. The 1958 Dockham Drugstore sit-in was part of early movements in cities across the country that helped advance desegregation. I'm so thankful that the youth of Wichita, along with men and women like John Lewis, that had the boldness and fortitude to advance necessary and overdue changes in a racially segregated environment. While we served on different sides of the aisle, his compassion for others was evident and his love of country unwavering. My memories of John will be of his legacy and his service. I'm grateful to have served alongside him during my tenure in Congress, and I'm thankful for his dedication to equality for Americans the Georgians he represented, and the United States. I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, for leading this special hour, and I yield back.